Hello everybody, this is Comrade Kelly. Welcome back to another mod review. For today, our mod for today is the Rise of Civilization. So this isn't an easy tech game, it's Age of Civilization. And this is a mod for it. <coughs> so we have to change the map to from what I know I think it's like small and change it to this one. Just randomize it. Start. So I got Navarin, but there's so much more other nations such as England. I don't know why Scotland's there. So it's a France, Brandenburg, Estland, Can Can. So much more. So yeah, let's just watch a normal game. Just conquer everyone, I guess. But let's just see who declares war. Pack. Who's Hungary? No. Who's this guy? Yes. Oh, okay. Pack with you, of course. Yep, yep. Peace with him now. That's, that's basically it, and I can just. Build more troops and march into his capital. Boom. Then I got immediately pushed back. So, yeah, that's it for this year. There's another one. All we have to do is make it as a large map this time. And the civilization. This time, so there's 48 civs now in this version. Press start and boom. So, France is in a pickle. These guys are all allies together. I'm allied with this guy. They're allies together. So yeah, there's like alliances in this one. So let's say I place the people state, right? And who am I allied? So I'm allied with no one. Damn. So let's say I build troops. And now I'm at war with everyone. So that's the end of me. I'm dead. Yep. Pretty much dead. So yeah, there's two scenarios here. Both are pretty cool. I urge you to check this one out. And yeah. And that's it for this one. Let me check if there's other scenarios. I can make the hundred. It's still the same. So yeah, I think that's it for this one, and I'll see you ne next time. Bye!